Hi, my name is Ed from edthorn.com, here to help you guys make the most out of your studios. And today I have two brand new plugins from Sonable that are going to do exactly that, help you with your home studios and with your mixing. Sonable have just released True Balance and True Levels. Now these are logical continuations from their artificial intelligence based Smart EQ and Smart Limit, which are brilliant plugins and permanently live on my mix bus and I use them in every single track. Let's briefly chat about True Levels first before deep diving into True Balance and see how we can use this to really step up our mixes and get professional level results. All right, as you can see now, True Level is displaying lots of different visual parameters for us to get feedback on the levels of our mix. The top section here, this is where we can assess the levels of our mix or master against the requirements for different streaming platforms, including Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, and even Netflix. Next to that, we also have a genre reference. So if I'm producing a metal track or a pop track, I can assess the common levels and LUF le levels and dynamic ranges against typical genre levels on the different streaming platforms. There's lots of feedback we can get here. We also have reference tracks and you'll notice these parameters move. Now this is the, the section that particularly excites me. The track I'm mixing at the moment is from the Produce Like A Pro Academy where they have multi-tracks and multi-stems available to download and practice your mixing. This particular track was finally mixed by Mark Daniel Nelson who is a wonderful mixing engineer. So I've imported his final mix and master to reference my mix against. Now there's obviously going to be some difference in that his has been mastered, mine hasn't, but we can get in the ballpark. I've also imported a former track of mine that was mastered by Streaky and I know he mastered that track to minus eight LUFS. For those of you who don't know what LUFS is, LUFS is a industry standardized measurement for the perceived loudness of tracks. So if I play the track and reference it against Spotify, we can use this level check feature and that's gonna give us feedback on how loud and how much dynamic range my track has. And we're gonna keep an eye on these crosshairs here. So along the bottom, we have our dynamic range and along the top here, we have our LUFS. So my crosshair here is pretty much bang on where it needs to be for dynamic range and LUFS levels for a universal selection of music on Spotify. So this is telling me that the loudness looks good, the dynamics look good, but the peak level seems too high. But if I compare this to a reference track, let's start with Mark Daniel Nelson's. You'll see that the loudness seems too low, but the dynamics and the peaks look good. Now, why is that? That's because his track has been mastered and it is very loud. I don't know what it's been mastered to. So let's compare it against my track, which I know has been mastered to minus eight LUFS. <laughs> And again, same thing, it says the loudness is a little bit too low, but that's just because it's not been mastered. So this is a really useful tool for assessing the dynamic range and loudness of our tracks, or more importantly, our masters. I'd say this is probably more a mastering tool, but it's good to keep an eye on if you were, for example, sending a client a fake master of a track to make it stand up and be as loud as possible against other tracks they're gonna be comparing it to, which are likely to be mastered. All right, moving on to True Balance, and this is where we can really have some fun with the referencing. This plugin continues the referencing theme. I've loaded up again Mark Daniel Nelson's mix and a former track of my own. The referencing section in this plugin is different. We're not referencing for Spotify, we're purely referencing against genres of music. So Sonable have measured tracks from lots of different genres of music and created an average EQ curve of all these different styles of music. Now this is a pop track, so I'm gonna keep it to pop. Now at the bottom here, we also have a measurement for the width of our track, the stereo width and imaging of our track for the low end, the mids and the highs, and also a correlation. Now what the correlation is, is saying, giving us the similarity between both sides of the mix. For example, this is going from zero to plus one. If this was minus one, this would suggest that there's phase problems and incoherences. If this was plus one, this would suggest that each side is exactly the same sonically. Now I'd say we want to aim for that, except we want some difference because we've obviously panned instruments different sides, so it's not ever really going to be exactly one. But as long as we're in the positive, I think we're winning. 
So let's have a listen to the track. And what we're looking out for is that my track is going to be this green line here. And the pop genre that Sonobull have decided is going to be represented by that thin grey band. You'll notice I checked balance there. And um, the levels of the lows looks good, the mids and the highs look good as well. So we can see that my green line is almost exactly all in the band that Sonable have decided is a typical EQ for this genre. So I don't think there's too much to do other than I'm noticing there's a drop off at 10k that's a bit sharper than on the pop reference and there's a bit more low end. Now I'm not too worried about that because I like a lot of low end in my mix. One thing that might be a concern is this little dip here at around four or 500 hertz but again for personal taste that's a frequency range I'm not a huge fan of. Let's move over to the reference track. The references are blue line is Mark Daniel Nelson's track. The red line is the EQ curve of my track. And together you'll notice that the band's quite wide. So let's get rid of one of those. So you'll notice again, I've got a bit more of a, a low end. Mark's track is has definitely been, it's a very pop mix. It's definitely mixed for laptop speakers and headphones and things. So there's not loads of low end in his mix. I quite like the fact that mine has a little bit more. There's a bit of a difference again here. Again, we've discussed the four to 500 mark and there's a bit of a difference at the two to 5K. That's probably helping with my perceived loudness. But again, there's a bit of a drop off at about 10K, which I think I should do something about. In terms of width and correlations, we're good. There's, there's no phase cancellation or incoherences and the stereo imaging is very similar on all sides. So I'd say we're in a good place here. The final thing to mention about these plugins is we can adjust the resolution of our spectrograph here and to go between a very smooth curve, which is easy to assess, uh, a medium detailed curve, which has got you know a few more peaks and troughs and it's getting into a bit more detail of the problems of the track and then really detailed. And for me, that's just a bit too tricky to read, but technically you can see now that I have a big dip at exactly about 550 hertz so that's something I could I could definitely check in the mix and that my overall lows are actually quite high around 100 hertz and they're actually going out of the reference track parameters but let's go back to smooth because I prefer how that looks so this is a great tool for helping you learn your mix for example if you are if you're in a, an untreated acoustic room and you're not sure if it's going to translate you can check this because you can identify where your mix is not in the same parameters of you. This has got you. And if you're not sure how your balance will translate or be faithful to the genre, True Balance has got you. And if you need to compare your current mix against your last mix for consistency, again, True Balance has got you. This is a really helpful plugin. These plugins are on sale until December. I've placed links in the description below. I've been Ed Dawn. It's been emotional. Thanks for watching.